I was looking to get away after Covid, um, I worked all the way through it because I work in healthcare um, and it wasn't easy as I said as well, like got into boxing through Covid, helped my mental health. Um, I did a fight just before I came out here and that was like my goal, I pushed myself to that point um, and then I thought well, <laughs> what next, let's go to Ghana, do some boxing out there. I've always suffered with my mental health just through lots of things like losing people when I was younger but ever since I like, started boxing and like pushing myself because you've got to push yourself when you do it like every single day and um, like training is not easy and um, like going to new gyms like sparring new people you're like constantly pushing yourself and pushing yourself until one day I was just like oh I'm not scared to do this anymore. When I spoke to people about coming out here, I was worried about being a woman out here um, because, as I said, there's not a lot of people doing it in England, never mind in Ghana. Um, but again, just another challenge, I thought it'd be good maybe see if I could get more women out here. Like hopefully other people might be like, oh yeah, I can do it as well. Everyone's been accepting, the placement's been amazing. Everyone's work ethic is not what you get in the UK. Um, it makes you push yourself even harder, train harder, but also like, have fun, everyone's so friendly, like we'll be training and people will start dancing randomly. And there's so much to do, like I thought I'd just be here doing boxing, but you can get involved with everything. Like some days go to the orphanage, some days I go to watch guys play football, um, get involved with the kids here, like it's so flexible to do, do a bit of everything. I thought I'd be coming out here maybe to like, well, coach or teach, but instead it's been like the other way around, but it's, it's been great. I feel like I've been learning instead of coming out here to teach other people. You don't come to some fancy place and get put in a house and you don't get someone showing you around or like guiding you through everything. Like you come, you've got people here to help you, but there are people who live here who know Ghana. Um, and yeah, you, you just, end up feeling yourself as if you live here yourself. Um, I don't feel like I'm on holiday or traveling. I feel like I've lived here for two months um, and that's been really nice. It's been different to anywhere else I've been anyway.